can we start with this media shit, man? Because we ain't get a chance to finish that. It's media wars. Media wars. Media yeah, wars. Bitter. Media wars. No, nah, I'm not bitter. I just feel like I be the... But, you know, the higher the higher up you get in your career, the less and less you can t- be able to tell the truth. So because I ain't up there yet, I just want to be able to tell my truth, man. That's it. That's it. Why do you feel like you can't tell your truth? Because you... The like, higher up you go. You see, we perfect example, Charlemagne and Elliot Wilson. If Charlemagne was a nobody, ain't nobody care what he said. I feel like Charlemagne was speaking the absolute truth, and I was going there. Like, Elliot, a lot of those people, even, I'm going to go further, and I think Charl- Charlemagne said it too. And I might just don't have the the uh, the articulation as him, but I was saying the same thing with what, what, uh, Angela Yee, with Angie Martinez. Like, Angie Martinez is a ghost. She's my favorite, like, personality ever. Like, her... um. Uh, the other guy, Arsenio Hall. So when it comes to like, when I see Angie, uh, Angie Martinez up there, I'm like, bro, come on, man. Like in 2023, do she deserve to be the top personality? No, that doesn't mean that she's not a goat though. That doesn't, that, that I feel like the two could coexist. So when I see Elliot Wilson, I think Elliot Wilson is a what? Another goat. Even with Sway, he's a goat, but they ain't do nothing in 2023 that like when I see Gabe at number 25 and I see Elliot Wilson at number five, I'm like, bro, this is because it's familiar. First of all, and what complexes in New York? Yeah, they got a couple people that's not in New York. Like you see Adam Twenty Two, but of course that's because his platform is so big. And Adam Twenty Two being what at, I think he was at Twenty Two, it's just absurd uh, to me, right? And I'm not the biggest fan of Adam Twenty Two. I'm just being realistic. If anything, Gabe should have been top five because on the radar has been making moves for f- for a few years now, and it just is what it is. It ain't no hate. It's just real. Mm. All right. Well, let's see. Let's get to this. Let's get to this first clip, man. Um, you know, Charlemagne is speaking on uh, you know, our guy. Oh, actually, is this out of order? This is out of order. So we should be playing the Elliot Wilson clip first. No, nah, probably right, just, it started. It started with this. That's true, Lightning. That's true. All right, let's go. God. Why? Another tweet. He said, fuck you. You got an echo. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> At com slash idiots deserve when they're walking it's an echo. around it's like yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Right, big i got you so this uh, must have been a second one i guess showed you weren't here yeah what happened uh i was talking about this must be the second one uh the top 20 the first one Our- the first one the right, original me- conversation but i mean it, oh, it's yeah. cool we don't have to we could, it, i mean well, i think he he speaks on it right here hold on okay. let me go to- or hip-hop rankings let me see it Taylor. i forgot what were this shit is about with the top 25 power hip hop rankings, okay. Uh, I got the number five, it was Elliot Wilson. I said, I don't think he deserves to be number five. Whoa, what you, what don't? you don't? He reacted, he to didn't that. take too kindly to that. What's some of the tweets he posted? Uh, Taylor, I know the first tweet he posted, he said, Sucker shit at oh, wow. Cedar God. Why? Another tweet, he said, Fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. okay. And then that's all I saw. Another one, he said, fuck You again. Said fuck you again. So then what? Go to his page. To- so that's what happened. So the list came out. It's really Jay Hill's fault because Jay Hill made this a big thing. So like he was t- talking about how niggas is all out of order. Certain niggas don't deserve to be high up on the list. Elliot Wilson came to number five. Charlemagne said that's some bullshit. Now the war starts. So now I'm going to play the official statement of the first time that, you know what I'm saying? Our, 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 well, I ain't going to say our guy because I don't Wilson. know Elliot Wilson, this is his official statement. Let me throw this on the screen. Let's do it the way it's supposed to be done, like like a professional. All right, where am I? Where am I? So many screens. No, 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 like, 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 I big up shit that's dope to the culture. Not shit just that I do. Mm. But if anybody else does something dope, I big it up. Yeah. I'll we post your shit yeah. story. Like yeah, everything. I, I, I nobody else does that. Still to this day. All the shit they talk. They just pull they they like push their shit. They don't show love. That's they not, don't not true. Oh shit. Back few had that dope interview the other day. Who else is doing that? What? what? A, lot A lot of, of platforms. What are you talking about? He's talking about the top dogs on the list. He's not talking about people not on the list. He's talking about people on the list. Who do you feel like Charlemagne is posting? I, I didn't hear him people? say on the list. My bad. I heard him oh, say he's the uh, only one that does that, but okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, go ahead. Wilson. Still. Uh, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping in. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is Charlemagne a sucker? 
What what's what going on weird? with you and Charlemagne? And why and why does it seem like all the other people now is having problems with Charlemagne? I don't know about other people. I just think that dude, you know, he he, he can be very funny style in real life. And I just feel like I feel like we just never really clicked like that. And also, I just didn't like the last little brilliant idiot shit he did, talking crazy about me being on that list, top five and shit. Never explaining why I shouldn't be top five. And I'm just tired of his shit. And it's like, it's like, it's the old school. It's like, at a certain point, you just gotta say, fuck this person. Like, fuck you. Like, I'm born 1971. Like, it can just be that. We don't have to be cool. We don't gotta pretend. You clearly have an issue with me or you don't like my presence in the game. Like you said, maybe you think I should stand down and be a legend. I'm not here to get this like legendary badge with Big Boy or Angie or Sway. Like I- I'm here to compete right now in the year of 2024. I know I'm a legend already. Like I still want to compete and great create create uh, great content. Academics gets that. He understands that. You know, I don't agree with everything that he does, but me and him have a good rapport. He gets that the OG out here, he's competing. He's out here in the field competing. He respects it. Why, how can you not respect that? I'm supposed to just be in the corner and be like, tell me about how great I was and what I used to do. Oh, brother. Uh, I feel like it's being a little sensitive. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, like a mind little. you, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge Elliot Wilson fan. I respect what he brought to the game. I respect I, I, I respect what he's doing now. Um, I feel like both of them are not speaking on the list. Both of them are just speaking on their personal feelings against each other. You know what I'm saying? Elliot, what have you done impactful in 2023 that puts you in the number that you're at or higher? Like, and if he's saying, yo, he don't deserve to be number five right now. Now I agree. He did. I don't remember him saying specifically. And I watched a lot of this content. I haven't seen Charlemagne say, well, this person did more than him this year or that person did more. Now Jay Hill has some comments based on, you know, his, you know, what he's seen. And I, I respect that. But yeah, um, but this isn't the first person to have comments about Charlemagne speaking out of turn. What they define as Charlemagne speaking out of turn. I disagree. I feel like Charlemagne, like all media personalities, sees a moment, speaks on it. He's not necessarily doing a whole lot of deep introspection. If he feels something, he going to say it. I don't necessarily feel like he's trying to dog a nigga or push a nigga out of their space. I, if he just feel like, I don't feel like he deserves it. I don't. Now, is the statement off color? Yes. Is he wrong? Mm, arguable. I feel like that's what great conversations are about. It's supposed to, you're supposed to say some shit that sparks debate and people go back and forth. So uh, that's all I got to say. I'll give it to y'all. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think it was off color at all. I just think he's seen the list and he, he, he responded to it. If anything, I do think he was giving reasons of why he shouldn't be on the list. He hasn't been doing anything in 2023. I mean, not even on the list. I don't even think he said he shouldn't be on the list. He just shouldn't be number five. And I do agree with people like... Uh, people like... Um, Again, not to be on this man nuts like this, but Gabe P, right, from On The Radar. I feel like, if anything, Gabe P should be top five than Elliot Wilson. Why? Because yeah. Elliot Wilson hasn't put out... Bro, when we talk... The last big interview I remember from Elliot Wilson was a Rap Radar interview with Joe Button. I, how long ago was that? I don't know. Maybe um, a, year. a year ago? Yeah. So, let's see. Let's check it out. Can we check it? Um, yeah. Rap Radar. You go to Rap Radar, YouTube. All right, I see something that said three months ago. I don't know if they reposted it. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Was it three months ago? Wow, that's nice. It says three Shout months ago. You. Got you. But um, he just started two new platforms. So he's got the rap. And those platforms just- ain't what, what are they doing? The one with DJ Head? Respectfully. Yeah, yeah. Respectfully. Come on, when we compare to the people that's on the list and some some people that's not even on the list. I'm not even gonna say me. Let's say like a uh I don't know, a, a Wayne no. Wayno isn't on the list. When you compare Elliot's show with the content that we've been seeing Wayno put out recently, which one stand out more? For me, on and I'm not just saying this because it's my business. Wayno, Wayno has had uh has had viral moments, right? He's had moments in hip hop where it started conversations. I don't see none of these outside of the Drake and the Drake and Kendrick thing, and even during that, a lot of that was because DJ Head was talking. If I'm not mistaken, it wasn't because of Elliot. Yeah, but if we're talking about somebody owning a platform or starting something that gets conversations to go viral, <laughs> I, and he, my personally, I haven't seen anything from 
uh your boy outside of the stuff that he did with you so like no disrespect to him i mean i i'm a big fan of him but not that's like fair. I, i'm just naming people like you feel me i'm just naming yeah, somebody that's not on the like, list elliot has created something uh they be oh they gained a lot of traction during the during the drake and uh and and kendrick beef who that shit who gained a lot of traction oh, Elliot shit. yeah they, they they were in a lot of conversations a lot of their conversations went viral around that because of dj head giving that inside information no, yeah, it is what it is. It came up on my timeline. I mean, it may not. Uh, it, I'm just speaking from my perspective. No, I saw I it. He's number one or number five. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I ain't really about to argue that. I definitely feel like there was some other people that could have taken his place. You know what I mean? But he definitely deserves to be on so the why list. Why is Joe? I mean, yeah. why is Charlemagne deemed a hater because he said he should be number five? I think they just go back to what Jay said about like their personal feelings with each other, though. Yeah, it's personal. It's personal, and, and it's emotional. Niggas and niggas don't like taking a hit. Like, and and I think Charlemagne said that, that and and he said that in his video. Like, once they went after the, he was saying that the nigga was taking it personal, and I kind of agree. You know what I mean? And uh uh uh, which caller said that you can make all these statements, you can dish it out, but you can't take it. You know what I mean? And that, and that's a problem, yo, Elliot. You got to be able to take it as much as you dish it out. Now, I definitely feel like Elliot has done all of this to keep his name relevant Me too. and to help bring light to stuff that he's doing. Yo, I mean, but that's what Media Wars is all about. You know what I mean? It's all about getting getting the pot stirred up. You know what I'm saying? So that you can get people to tap into what you got going on. Like, it's a little tip for tap. about that, my thing is keep, keep the real nigga shit out of it. Yeah, I was born tonight. We could just keep it at that, man. Y'all niggas is you. I personally think Elliot Wilson is cloud chasing, right? I feel like, again, when, when you have a, a show like Brilliant Idiots, you're talking about trending topics. This conversation came up. Why? Because it's trending, as do any other list. When we talk about top uh, 100 rappers, the top uh, hip-hop artists on Apple, anytime there's a list of top rappers of 2024, it's going to be a conversation. Why? Because media covers trending topics. So it's a trending topic. I don't, Me personally, and m mind you, I don't give a damn about Sean, man. He don't owe me nothing. I don't owe that nigga nothing. I'm getting it by my, myself. All I'm saying is, and I would love to interview both of them because they both legends in the space. I'm just speaking of the the, the the realness of it, right? So when you when you mm -hmm. have a topic at hand, Charlemagne just spoke on it, which I was doing the same thing. I don't think it sounded personal to me. It didn't sound like Charlemagne ain't fuck with uh, Elliot Wilson. It ain't sound like that to me. But when I heard Elliot respond, it sounded like he had a problem with Char Charlemagne. That's just my personal opinion. But did Charlamagne ever give reasons as to why it shouldn't be? In yes, the top five? I, I, it sounded like because he's not putting in the work. He said, he said people like DJ Head should have been on there. He said people like Nala Simone should have been on there, right? So I thought, for me, when I listened to it, just a clip, it, in that small amount of time, he gave reason why Elliot didn't deserve to be number five. That's that's what I heard. Okay, I'm with you on that. Uh, anything else y'all wanted to run by on this one, or did y'all? I mean, if you want to bring a different perspective with it, I'm cool. How you want to do it? How you want to do it? We 20 minutes in. I ain't over talking this episode. Y'all ain't getting me today. So what y'all trying to do? What nah, you got to do? If you got something else, to, man, don't make it weird. If you think something, say it. Yeah. I'm done. Hey, yo, be honest with you. I think this shit, this is just old head niggas arguing. Let niggas, yo, let the old head niggas, let the legends battle it out. And I'm going to sit back and enjoy the content. Shout out to both of them brothers, man. Like, I feel like you know we what can't saying? even get caught up in these, uh, these lists, especially lists like this. Because, again, me personally, I think it's just too familiar. And what I mean by that is it's like you see the same names over and over again. Bro, there's so many people out there, especially in that New York region that's doing good. Let's shout out to Savon and Alex and them, right? They they didn't have some really good interviews with, with Joe Button. I didn't see. Uh, I don't know if I seen um Mandy B on that list. Is she on that? She was on the list. Oh no, 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 no. Cause on. Mandy got this uh it's you know her to her sex podcast. I forgot. Yeah, but that shit been going crazy. So she been interviewing them motherfucking porn legends. Shout out to them niggas. So it's, it's plenty of people on there, and, and this is outside of me. Now what Simone has been had a, a bunch of big interviews. Go ahead, Nick, my bad. No, what about you? You feel like you should be on that list? I mean, if, if we're looking for the last year, I think so. If I'm being 100% no, so. honest, so. I just don't want to. I'm not going to lead with that. Now, I, don't know if I, I don't know if that you know because I'll be seeing together. your shit. I don't know if it's because I'll be, you know, I see your shit. You know, I think that also plays into it too. But even if we being real, right? Me and Wayno had one of the biggest moments of the uh, Kendrick Lamar Drake shit. That shit did two million on Instagram. Like, I was joking, yeah, people could say I troll a lot, but let's be real, the numbers are the numbers, right? That thing spread loud. It was loud, even outside of that. I mean, I've, so it's like, 
when we're talking about the way they're judging it, they were talking about, they, I think they specifically said something about Kendrick Lamar and Drake. I mean, me and Wayno had a, a whole, a, a whole run of where we were just communicating about Wayne, uh, Drake and, um, and Kendrick Lamar, a whole thing from start to finish. So like when you say 2023, these were the ones that was the top for 2023. It's like, where? Like you're doing this because, oh, it's lazy. It gives lazy journalism. It gives lazy uh, uh, work when we talk about complex. Because you, how how much did you work? Who do you really notice in a space that's doing this? Because I can, we can go on, even the guy Rob Markman, right? I've seen great takes from him. He's been doing, and I think he's still in the New York area. So it's places where you can look. It's just you choose to be like, you know what? I don't feel like doing this. I'm going to go with the people that I know, right? Like everything just... On the list, everything just made sense, in my opinion. It was like, okay, I, it wasn't, it, it was predictable. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff is written by writers that work for a certain platform. They're only looking at whatever they follow. It's not like they're out. Like, I, I feel like people get the misconception that com Complex is looking for all the new hotness and they're all in shade room and all that. A lot of them only see what they follow. And if it doesn't go cross, you know, platform, meaning that if it doesn't go viral into all of the middle spaces, they don't see that shit and they're not looking for it and they don't give a fuck. Like, so, my bad. Ahead. You know who else could be on the list? The nigga that did the interview with, um, what's their name? Um, the Danza Report. They've been, they had a phenomenal year. They had a crazy year. I don't think I've seen them. Uh, uh, the two community, community or something like that in LA. Crazy year. Like, so it's like, bro, come on. The guys that, um, I think they got fired from, uh, from um no jumper and they went on to start their own platform shit been going crazy so again i'm tapped in with these people i'll be looking so when you like it ain't just about me i'm looking at it like bro y'all lazy it's lazy it's lazy work but that's just my opinion mm -hmm. i'm with it i definitely feel like some more of i feel like if if shave room was to do the top 25 it's gonna look completely different you know what I'm saying? I feel like a, a platform that's really more tapped into black culture and hip hop and, and entertainment in this space. I definitely feel like your name would come up on a list like that because they see what you're doing. You know what I mean? But like complexes, you know, they deal yeah. with white people and black people shit. So like their their whole thought process and how they approach stuff is totally different. And you got to remember their interests sometimes be built in. It. it might be the niggas that own complex might own the platforms that these other niggas is on. So like I feel like you got to think that business side, too. Yeah, shout so, out to the, uh, the IG because even even you right, poor minds had a crazy year. Like, come on, man! Like, I don't know what, what are they basing it off of. Is it just like hip hop? I guess I don't know if it's if it's just hip hop, but even if it is, it's so many more people out there who's really been killing the space. So, man, mm -hmm. this is far a bit much bigger than me. I don't, cause that's why I didn't even say my name because I don't even want to seem like I'm just hating and thinking I should be on that. Nah, like I'm, I'm cool. Fuck that list. <laughs>